bottom line, teams stay stuck together. Uh, that's what uh, good teams do. And uh, we did not play well the first half. Our defense gave us a chance to be in the game. Uh, and when you're playing the way we know we can play defensively, we got a chance to win every game. Uh, offensively, I thought we stuck together at halftime, made some adjustments, came out the second half, and uh, and uh, got the got the lead and kept the lead and got the win. So, uh, something we're going to build on. A lot of guys played. Uh, it's always been the next man up mentality. Uh, we had a lot of guys go in there today and did a did a great job. And uh, that's what we're built on. Everyone's got a valuable role, and the gentlemen that uh, the young men that went in today uh, did a fabulous job. And uh, it was just a great win to to get today as we start uh, getting more and more into the conference. Questions for Coach Miller? <clears throat> Heard a lot of stars seemed unaligned at halftime. It was the first half. Offensively, apart from staying together, what adjustments were made and what kind of got you back on track in terms of uh, being able to move the ball? I think we sat down and we looked at what was working um, and went back to it. Um, you know, they were given, they, they uh, showed us a defense that uh, we had never seen until last week. Um, weren't sure if we were going to see it because it was a different type of offense that they're seeing. Uh, so it gave us a little bit of problems uh, early on. Uh, we adjusted well. Uh, they played a three man front with a rover in the middle that was kind of a spy guy and uh, caused us fits. We settled down, we adjusted with our personnel, and we were able to uh, you know, get things going. That's exactly what our coaches did and our, and our kids responded. Curtis has been thrust into these situations before, so this is uh, something that he's done in the past. Um, in terms of just managing the offense yep. and not making mistakes, he only had two incomplete passes. Um, you know, tell me about his impact on that staying together vibe that the offense had in the, in the second half, because he, he helped them stay together. No question. Uh, and that's how Curtis has always approached everything. He doesn't say a whole lot, he just puts his head down and works. And when we made the decision to go with Gunner, uh, you know, sure, he was disappointed. Uh, but you know what, he came back to work the next day. I told him, hey, we're gonna need you, man. You gotta be ready to go at any moment. And that's exactly what Curtis has always done. He's been ready to go at any moment. And when he had the opportunity to go in today, he took advantage of it and uh, led us to a victory. When an offensive line has, you know, Joe Vasquez has started this year, but two others, uh, Carter Heron and, uh, and Fabricius, who have not started, does it take some time for them to kind of get used to the, to the, you know, tenor of the game? And did maybe we see a little bit of that too? In this oh, game? you know, I, 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 you know, we go, we go pretty fast. We got some pretty good D line, and they go against every day in practice, um, and uh, they've seen some good D linemen every day and uh, but you know two years ago Chris or uh, Carter Heron's playing wide receiver over here across town and uh, he's going to be a very very good football player and Fred Fabricius has just waited his opportunity but it's the same thing you know uh, when their name was called they came out and just kept playing and uh, but no I think they uh, took advantage of the situation and made the most of it did a remarkable job. The tide certainly turned on the scoreboard in the second half but maybe prior to that the opportunity to turn the tide was made in the second quarter when the defense really started to clamp down on Western. Uh, you know, is it? How can? Is there any way you can overstate the importance of the of the kind of the intensity that they were still bringing to the game when, when it was looking bleak otherwise? Yeah, you know, I, on the sidelines you felt it in this room where the defense is. Uh, you felt the energy. Uh, when I went into the other room with the uh, offense, they were locked in. Uh, they're in tune to what we were going to do to adjust. There was never any panic, um, you know, and we were just going to stay to what we had practiced all week. You know, we went back to using Michael Hoppert again. Uh, he had a couple nice runs. He fumbled earlier. We didn't throw it out the window. We went back to what we worked on all week. Uh, we got all the confidence in Michael, as we do Curtis, and uh, they did a great job. You know, we, uh, we turned the ball over twice in the first half. Can't do that. Uh, we had two penalties, which is what we've got to continue to do. So if we can not turn the ball over um, and uh, you know not have penalties, we can, we can play as good defense. We'll get everything going we need to do uh, offensively. When it comes to the offense, this was an offense designed around Ryan Boyle, mm -hmm. around you know the five seniors that, that you had on the offensive line. You know, does it take some time 
when you don't have those personnel in there to not only for the personnel themselves to adjust, but to also kind of adjust the play calling to take into account, you know, the fact that you have different bodies out there than, than what the playbook was designed to take advantage of. Sure, maybe so if you, you know, if you lose them when you're prepared to have them all game, but when you have two weeks or three weeks to prepare without them, no, and uh, uh, we've been preparing, you know, we've got a lot of good football players out there, a lot of guys that have played a lot of football. Uh, whether it's at the tight end position, whether it's at the wide receiver position, whether it's at the running back position. Sure, we've lost a few guys on the O-line, but still got a lot of guys who played a lot of football. And uh, as much production as maybe Ryan has, we've got other guys that can produce just as just as well if we spread it out a little bit. You know, injury-wise, though, it was, a, it was some, there was some rough moments. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Jonas uh, jumps up to the four. Um, was his an ankle? It was hard to tell from upstairs uh, what that was. No, we're looking at his knee, and then we'll assess it tomorrow. What, what, what was the situation with Gunner, too? Because uh, did he come back and play? He, we tried to go back to him. Um, we'll assess him as well. He's battling uh, a muscle strain, you know, and, and <coughs> excuse me, that was something that he battled through camp. Um, re aggravated it a little bit to uh, hopefully get him back here next week or two. When you have guys going down and then you have a second half like you had today, you know, just how important morale wise is that for the team to kind of uh, as you said, they they you know, they didn't lose sight of the task at hand and and stay together in some adversity, you know, how how important when you get the bet when you get the reward for staying together does that mean going forward? I think that's what we've said from day one. Um, and they bought into it. Uh, the young men are have jumped in there when they've given their opportunity, whether it be at running back, whether it be at linebacker, where have you. Uh, guys that are getting the opportunity have taken the most of it. And the way we practice and the way we involve everybody in practice and how we're developing young guys. We had some freshmen out there today that had never played on some special teams. And we're able to do that in the off week and we're able to do that on a daily basis by uh, you know, meeting with those guys uh, and getting them ready to go because you're going to need those guys. We're going to have to start using some other guys, maybe some freshmen and some positions on special teams especially. Any other questions for Coach? Coach yeah, go on, First off, congrats on the win. And then um, as far as the quarterback position, have you seen you think enough from Curtis to what do you think about him maybe being the starter going forward? Well, you know, we'll have to watch the film. You know, obviously we know we've got two capable quarterbacks. Um, you know, when we made a decision to go with Gunner, the right decision was to make a decision. And it wasn't an easy decision, but we had to make one and, and go with it. Um, it wasn't clear cut by no means. Uh, we knew we had two very capable, and when I brought the two young men in and talked to them, I said, we're gonna need you both. And that's gonna continue to be out throughout the season, but uh, to make a decision now, but uh, to tell you this, we're gonna, use, we're gonna need them both.